Todd Schneider. Welcome to another episode of Water Tech with Todd. Uh, we're filming here today at Dizzy McLean. We're located in Cincinnati, Ohio. And today we're going to be reviewing and looking into the Watts QT101 closet carrier. All right, everybody, to get started, one of the great advantages about working with Watts and their carrier systems is when you order these, they're all going to come pre assembled in the box for you. So to pull this out, first thing you're going to grab is our bags of washers, nuts, and bolts. We'll set these to the side. Then we're going to remove the face plate itself. So big advantage is you're not having to put all this stuff together. This is already going to come in the box, ready to go, and ready for installation. Now let's talk about where we're going to be installing these and who we're using these. So this is going to be perfect for any of your retrofitting, remodeling, or new construction products out there. Uh, but a lot of the design features on here were really based on what the prefabrication guys were looking for. Uh, prefab guys are when they're going to be setting about five of these carriers in their shop and then be able to take it from their shop, transport out to the job, and set it in place. Now some of the nice features that we've got on here, uh, we're going to start with our feet. Normally the feet uh, in the ISCA carrier were more facing front to back. Watts has now moved these to the side, okay? When we're putting this on a unistrut stand or an angle iron, this is gonna give us a much more bigger surface area to bolt this all in. Some of the other changes that you're gonna notice right off the bat will, are our leg adjustment bolts, okay? We're gonna find a lot of our leg adjustment bolts measurements right here on the side, but what you'll notice is the older style, they came in through the side here, now we put everything right through the front. Also another good advantage is our body nuts. Everything's right through the front, but if you look closely, every one of these bolts are the exact same size. So that's gonna give you a major time advantage when only using an impact or one socket and not having to switch back and forth between a lot of tools. Next notable feature you're gonna see on this Watts QT101 uh, is gonna be our wall guard or our tile plate. Now in the past, uh, it was a piece of plastic and it only served one purpose and it was keep the drywall and the tile and the masonry uh, out of this area so you had no access back here. Watts has now changed this over to a epoxy coated steel. It's going to serve many purposes. Now when installing this, the first thing you want to do uh, is adjust this wall plate out to your finished wall. Once it's out to your finished wall, we're going to take a quick measurement from the back side of this face plate to inside, and I go to the back of the carrier body itself. Transfer that measurement over to the nipple, cut it off, and add some, some lubricant on here. Uh, this is gonna be provided by Watts. Once you get that on, we're gonna slide that nipple through our wall plate, and quarter turn. Your nipple is now set. Uh, it's sealed and it's going to, with the O-ring gasket here, it's actually going to give you up to a 30 pound test. All right, now I know what you're thinking. Todd, in a true job, these walls can adjust back and forth. Say they remove tile from it, now all of a sudden our wall plate's sticking out too far. It's very simple. From the front of this, we're able to do a quarter turn, pull the nipple directly out, adjust our face plate to the new finished wall, Cut off a little bit of the nipple. Now what we want to do is just add a little bit more of the petroleum lubricant. Stick it back into the body of the carrier. And quarter turn and we're back ready to go again uh, with a 30 pound test. Now on the flip side, say if our wall gets moved out a little bit, we can do the exact same thing. What we're going to do is we're going to turn this quarter turn, pull it directly out. Loosen up our bolts here, bring our face place out, and just go ahead and reinsert it. Now with this nipple here, we have actually up to three quarters of an inch of play of adjustment to pull it out or bring it back in. Okay, one of the last features I like to talk about, I think this is where Watch really did a great job listening to the contractors and what they want, uh, was adding four different 3-8 taps to the top of this uh, carrier unit. Now, what that does is it gives you the advantage of taking a standard 3-8 rod, screwing it in with a split ring hanger. Uh, this will give you the perfect adjustment to bring your flush valve out. 
It also gives you features where if you want to move it over, you can also use it uh, for your header water going across. So with every carry, you're going to have to have some sort of water. You're going to have to have that flush valve. And again, adding these four taps gives you a lot of advantage uh, on speed uh, to get this thing uh, installed and installed correctly. Now that we've talked about a lot of the installation advantages of this uh, carrier system, some of the ones that you're not, you're not really going to read about or see uh, is that we have complete accessibility uh, through this wall plate. Uh, if we've got to pull our nipple out, make any minor adjustments, we can do that after the finished wall is up. Uh, the other thing that I really like uh, and being in the field and being in the trade is after these nipples are installed, we really have to worry about are they going to stay in place? Are they going to get beat up with roll around carts and ladders? Uh, this wall guard being an epoxy steel really holds this true. It doesn't give you a lot of movement. Um, so if something rolls by, hits that nipple, we don't have to worry about knocking out of adjustment. It's always going to be coming out straight. Uh, I know with some other manufacturers, we've got threads. Uh, I've actually had it where things have gotten hit. It actually has cracked that thread uh, and we have a test issue. All right. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, as always, any questions, please leave those in the comments below and always try to like and subscribe. If you happen to be in the Ohio, Kentucky or Indiana, feel free to stop in. Uh, we have a fully functional wet lab that you are able to install this make any adjustments you need, hang that fixture, uh, get any training that you would like.